Hey guys, welcome to Figure Fantasy. We're now um, talking about Sun Shang Xiang, Sun Shang Xiang, or SSX for short. I uh, don't want to pronounce her name because it's a tongue twister. But uh, we'll start off with um, her uh, skills, as you can see here. Um, she is sorry. She is, by the way, part of. Um, She's part of Snow A. So take note of that. And she is a militarist, guys. So terrific damage for a militarist. And let's go over again her skills. First and foremost is her attack speed is going to be fast. So making it faster is one of the things that we have to take advantage of. So level 2 and 3, again, a plus 50 for damage from basic attack. She has uh, terrific um, damage, by the way. Uh, for her ultimate, Arrow of the Wind Falling Feathers. Attack the current target, dealing damage and igniting the target for 5 seconds. Okay, that then deals a random damage 2 times to the target and its adjacent enemy. So, she has good direct damage. She has good AoE damage for her ultimate. Level 2 is boost attack speed by 80% for 5 seconds after unleashing the ultimate. And level 3, random damage also has penetrating effect. This is going to hurt. So penetration is the damage ignores the target's defense and stuns them for 0 0.5 seconds. So ignore defense. That is why she is very... She hits hard. So that is actually my take on that one. Her passive is End of Chaos. Uh, basic attacks have a 20% chance to trigger. So, again, you need to um, quicken her basic attack to have a better chance to trigger penetrating arrows, which have a penetrating effect. The chance to trigger is adjusted based on the accuracy bonus. Again, we will be discussing how to raise her accuracy bonus. And um, upgrade effect is deals additional burn damage to, to, to ignite targets. When triggered, recovers 10 energy for herself, which is nice. So that she could recycle it towards her ultimate. Um, again, this has penetration as well. And her special is Dominance of War. Boost damage by 15 when there is no surrounding enemies. She's definitely going to be good for bosses. Boost attack by 5, attack speed by 10. And level 3 is boost damage by 25% when there are no surrounding enemies enemies okay let's proceed to her parts and let's see what she has so similar to to her her counterpart no to her friend uh diao chan she has attack speed so if you're if you're going to be leveling leveling up both with the same type of gear definitely you're gonna need attack speed a lot and you're gonna need critical rate as well so four p set is um attack speed and two for critical rate ideally guys you need to have eternal nightmare badge with her so boost attack speed by 10 basic attacks at the 25 21 percent chance to bounce lighting off four times each time dealing damage equal to 80 percent of attack but again if you don't have this one let's see the alternatives for her uh badge Okay, so alternatives for her badge. Um, this one, if you want to build her on accuracy and if you want to trigger that passive as frequently as possible because she already that does have a fast attack, but uh, you can actually use this. This is also good. Boost accuracy bonus by 25. It's a 20% 20, 20 chance to restore 10 energy when attacked, which will be adjusted by the accuracy bonus as well. So this is a good... Uh, badge if you don't have that and if you have this one this is also a good one to start because it boosts bonus accuracy bonus by 40 if you don't have the yellow ones you could just you could use this and also similar to the Yao Chan you can actually use this as well if you don't have any badges at all that you can use on the yellow side so that is it. You can actually use this as well. End time ultimate badge. Boost damage by 20 when unleashing the ultimate stacking up to five, five times. 
and last until the battle ends. But this is your last recourse, really. End time divinity would be good for for the purples and end time ambition badge, and for the gold ones, uh, you have this one and eternal midsummer badge is is good to boost accuracy, and my recommendation is eternal nightmare badge. Okay, so my final thoughts on SSX. So it's very straightforward. Um, the problem again with them or their brand is that uh, we'll have a problem bring her to at least five star so it will take time to bring her up there but definitely a very good value if you do um i don't see any you know any drawbacks to building her except for you know the acquisition of copies of her but if you do, she's going to hit hard. She she has fast attack. She has a um, kit which has pe uh, penetrating damage or penetration. And she also has um, ignite effect. So again, she has a lot going for her kit. It's just tough to build her at this point. So probably in the future, we could have another video on her with, uh, you know, more copies but i don't think that would be soon and that would be down the line so again guys thank thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here